Who did you want me to meet? Hunter of the Abbey, may I formally introduce you to the Hellride. I always like to show her to all my friends and just realize that we've been so busy beating back your mom's forces, I haven't had a chance to give you an up-close look at her. Gorgeous, right? Even without the extra hell sauce, she's a beast. She is magnificent, Robbie. I would very much like to take her for a ride one day. Oh, man, that's a big no-no from Caretaker. You see, the Hell Ride isn't just a demon on the highway, it's literally a demon. I've tried to convince Caretaker that I've got it under control, but I mean, you see the way everyone treats me. Sometimes I feel more like invisible by day, rattling chains by night. Know what I mean? You are not a ghost to me, Robbie. Maybe not, but I have a feeling the two of us are gonna haunt the armies of Lilith anyway. We've really been putting the pedal to the Hydra Metal, huh, Hunter? Haven't seen the Hell Rite this fired up since... Well, ever. I thought she could use a little tune-up and we could use a little break to catch him. What is on your mind, Robbie? Honestly, just wanted to say thanks. I was starting to feel like a fifth wheel around here for a while. But lately, not so much. Even old Sparky agrees. He, well... Both of us just wanted to say thanks. Nice to feel useful, know what I mean? Friends help each other, Robbie. That is what we are here for. Thanks, Hunter. It's not always easy talking about this stuff, you know. I didn't exactly grow up in as friendly a neighborhood as Spider-Man. Nor did I. My mother made sure of that. Yeah. With me, it was my uncle. Something else we have in common, I guess. Who would have thought a 300-year-old demon hunter from Old Salem, Massachusetts hanging with the spirit of vengeance from East LA in a magically restored transient abbey as, you know, friends? Stranger things have happened, and will happen, I'm sure. And I look forward to all of them. I gotta say it, hanging with you has been a major confidence boost. Well, uh, sort of. Sort of? Have you seen the people we've got cruising around this place? Tony's a genius, Strange can do practically anything, Cap is a friggin' icon, Carol can fly the solar system and the fighter jet, and then there's me, with a flaming demon in my head. A flaming demon in your head is far from mundane. Yeah, it's cool. But not, you know, top shelf cool. Not like those other guys. Do not let it rattle you, Robbie. Have faith in yourself. I don't know. I don't want to mess up and disappoint anyone or worse, get someone hurt. I made that mistake once before and I have absolutely zero desire to do it again. Trust yourself. You have the right skills. And if you need backup, Sparky is always with you. Trust in the demon. Sparky's great, but I make the judgment calls. And my track record is iffy at best. We all mature in different ways. Yeah, I hear you, Hunter. And, uh, I appreciate you seeing the best in me. Even if the best is Sparky. I think the best of you is yet to be discovered. I want to ask you something, but you can't make fun of me, okay? Fire away, Robbie. Well, there is this online video game tournament, and I was kind of wondering... Will you be my player too? Of course I will be your player too, Robbie. And slay digital demons by your side. Really? <laughs> you sure you don't want to be player one? No, no. You have earned that title. I am happy to follow your lead. So, what did I do to deserve this honor, Robbie? I could ask you the same question. What did I do to deserve all your confidence in me?
I rarely meet someone as true and honest to himself as you, Robbie. Which explains how you can master the spirit of vengeance without letting it control you. Calling someone like that back home can get you a nice beating. But I'll take it as a compliment. I sometimes wonder if you'd still think that way if it wasn't for Sparky. Don't get me wrong. We're a solid duo. There's no doubt about it. But on my own, would I be that great? I'm not so sure. Have you considered Sparky might feel the same way? What do you mean? Sparky is occupying your body, Robbie. He needs you more than you need him. Without you, he is just a disembodied spirit. He probably feels just as insecure as you do. Oh, poor guy. I never thought about it that way before. Oh, now I'm feeling bad for Sparky. He should know he's still a kick-ass demon all on his own. You should start talking to yourself that way, Robbie. You might actually realize you were the real thing. A real hero. Okay, okay, fine. You've made your point. Repeat it until every last bit of doubt is erased from your mind. Starting now. I am the hero. Perfect. Thanks for meeting me out here. Of course, Robbie. What is on your mind? I woke up with this funny feeling this morning. Oh, and what was that? Well, I got out of bed, got dressed, looked in the mirror, and saw the Ghost Rider standing before me. You know, the real deal. And you know, it didn't feel weird. It was like I knew I could handle anything the day handed to me. No problem. What's with that? I am pretty sure it is called confidence, Robbie. Oh, so that's what confidence feels like. I don't think I've felt it before. Not like this anyway. Guess the confidence you had in me was contagious. I am heartened to hear that, Robbie, but you overcame your own demons. No offense to Sparky, of course. The credit goes all to you. You know, I was thinking, once all of this is over, I'm gonna go back to my old stomping ground, have my very own homecoming moment. Ready for your hero's welcome? Ready for some neighborhood deep cleaning? You should come with. Got plenty of bad guys in East LA that are long due for a tune-up from our badass hunter ghost rider duo. We are one deadly duo, or should I say more like a trio with the spirit. Duo, trio, all the same. Me and Sparky both know who's the Ghost Rider, right? He says right. And a few other things, but we agree on the basics. The Ghost Rider is Robbie Reyes, and I'm ready to bring some of that back home. And I look forward to helping you do that someday. Yeah, well, we're both gonna have to wait a minute on that. This flaming gearhead ain't riding off to the sunset before we finish what we started. And as always, Got your back. <laughs>